Hi, I'm Hannah from the Turner Community Library, which is part of KCK Public Libraries. And today I'm back at you with another tutorial on how to make masks. This one is for kids ages uh, nine and under. Um, and it has a filter pocket right here. So you can insert a non-woven material, which you can throw out every day. A lot of people use Kleenexes for that. Um, this one I made entirely with a hot glue gun. And this one, I sewed using this bad boy. If you don't have a hot glue gun or a sewing machine, that's okay. Just follow the machine sewing instructions and instead of machine sewing each line, you'll just be hand sewing it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let's get started. We will have kits available in these fabrics at the Turner Community Library from August 10th to August 14th while supplies last. First off, you're going to need three pieces of fabric. If you're making the small size for the under five-year-olds, you want two backing pieces that are three inches by six and a half inches. And then you also need one front piece that is about five inches by six and a half inches. If you have a kid ages five to nine, your front piece will be five and a half inches by seven and a half inches, and your two back pieces will be about three and a half inches by seven and a half inches. Whichever of the three methods you use to make this mask, you're going to need to prep your backing pieces by folding them back about a half of an inch or less and then ironing it that down. This will give you a nice clean crease. Do that one more time with the other one. I want the insides of our pockets to have a really nice clean seam, hopefully not fraying. So um, now that I've folded it down and ironing it, I am sewing a line straight down to keep it from coming up. Also, if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, but you'd like a video on how to do it, just leave a comment below and I'll put together a video for beginners. All right, so it's time to sew our backs to our fronts. So you're gonna put your good sides together, and by good sides, I mean, you can see how this one clearly has a good side here. And then this one, your good side is going to be the side that you do not see this edge right here. So the side that you'll, you just sew will be facing up like that. And try to line them up in the middle. There'll be a little extra room on the bigger pieces, and that's just gonna be seam allowance for later. I'm just going to keep this piece lined up with the edge of this piece right here and both pieces I'll keep lined up with the edge of my presser foot. Repeat for the other side, there we go. Now I can fold these pieces over. See how they overlap. After you're finished showing, it should look like this. You should have lines of stitching right here and right here. So now we're going to flip it over and we're gonna press these seams down to make them look nice and clean. There we go. As you can see, the pockets overlap a little bit, so you'll be able to put in your non-woven layer right there. All right, so the next step is we're going to fold this in just a little tiny bit like that. I think that's about, again, half an inch or less, maybe a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to fold it one more time Ooh, my fabric's a little hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna repeat for the same side with the same steps. Fold it down, press it. Oops. Did 
There we go. And then fold it in again. Right now we're creating the um, pocket where our elastic is gonna go through. Next up, we're going to be sewing a line right along here and then also right along here. I know it looks kind of like a square right now, but don't worry, once we have the elastic in, that'll scrunch it up a lot like this, and then it'll look a lot more like a mask. I'm gonna sew along these edges now, and this will be the tube that will hold our elastic. So now we're going to need to get our elastic through these fabric tubes that we've created. So you can use a safety pin to do this, a lot of people think that's the easiest. Um, some people use paper clips. I found that using a bobby pin was actually the easiest one for me. So I just started threading the bobby pin through and then I loaded all the fabric onto it like this. Then you stick your elastic through the end like that and then that way as you push your bobby pin through, your elastic comes with you. Ta-da! There we go. And repeat for the other side. Now all we have left is to sew these pieces of elastic together. Back to the sewing machine. I will just be holding these two pieces together, letting them overlap a tiny bit. And it's a bit tricky to get them positioned correctly, but I believe in you and me. We can do this. Ta-da! All right, I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch because that should be a lot more um, secure. There we go. It's going to be messy. It's not going to be pretty, but you know what? It's going to hold. And guess what? So you're probably like, ooh, that looks gross. I don't want to see that on my mask. The fun part is you can just hide it inside this fabric tube right here. So I'm going to trim off the extra threads, and then I'm just going to pull it around and hide it inside the tube. Repeat for your other side. Here's how I hide the ugly bit inside my fabric tube. Just keep pulling on this side, and slowly it'll get pulled in. There we go. Ta -da. So one last thing you want to do before you give the mask to your kid is to make sure that you pull on these ends here. And so that'll make it scrunch up here so it'll more easily fit around their face. And that's it for your sewing machine method. On to the other methods. All right, now time for our hot glue gun version. Um, I apologize for the ugliness of my hot glue gun, however, I just think it's had a lot of love in its life. So just like the last one, I'm going to go ahead 
and run just a thin layer of glue just along here so that we can fold that side down and have it stay. I'm gonna repeat with the other backing piece. And there we go. All right, so next up, we're going to glue our good pieces, good sides together. So, that means that the part that you just glued, this part is going to be facing up. And then also you want your sunflower fabric facing up as well, because unless you want this to be the outside of your mask. Another good way to say this is to say outsides together. So this is going to be the outside of the mask that faces your mouth, and this will be the outside of your mask that faces to the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and do a nice thin stream of glue right here. And then pressing that down. You want your edges to line up pretty closely right here. If you notice you miss a spot, you can always go back and put another little dollop of glue right there. Now I'm gluing the other side. Try to keep your line as straight as possible. Make sure you give your glue a little bit of time to dry between each step. When it no longer feels warm, it's about dry. So now you're gonna turn these inside out like this. And that way you can start to see how your pocket is forming. So this is where you'll be putting in your non-woven layer and this outside is the bright, sunshiny outside of your mask. Even though we're using hot glue, I recommend doing a quick press with the iron just to make it look all nice and neat. All right, and then next up, we're going to fold each side in a little bit like this. And press that. Turn around and do your other side. And you guessed it, our next uh, hot glue line is going to be right along this edge right here. So I'll do a quick line like right inside and then after that, I'll do another line on top just to make sure it stays put.
All right, and now we need to get our elastic through our fabric loop just like that. Um, this time I'm using a paper clip. You can also use a bobby pin or a safety pin. Um, if, if you wanna see how I do it with the bobby pin, you can just um, look back at my sewing machine tutorial and see how that works. This, this one, um, I loop it through and just leave a little bit on the end. And then I push this, the um, paper clip through my fabric tube here. Just push a little bit in and then pull out on the other side like that. There you go. All right, our last step is going to be to glue these um, elastic pieces to each other. All right, I'm going to be gluing these two ends together just like I glued those two together. Put a healthy dollop of glue on one of your ends and then place your other end right on top of it and going to hold them together make sure you don't burn yourself on the glue but you also want to hold them together firmly and then you're probably going to need to hold them together for about 30 seconds or so maybe 20 seconds all right we'll just call that good if you want to hide your ends you can see there's a little glue sticking out you can pull on the elastic here and as you can see this side is just getting sucked into the fabric tube so you never have to look at it again doing it with my other side here Oops. well I got it mostly in and then again, just like your other mask, you're going to pull the edges together like this so they scrunch up so that it'll fit more easily around your child's face. And there you go. There's our hot glue mask. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to stop by the Turner Community Library to pick up a kit to make these masks while supplies last. Bye.